Are you confused by arrays? In this video, I'll show you a practical way to use them. First, we'll create the variables for the project. Next, we'll build the logic. Finally, we'll demonstrate how it works. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. All right, so to start on today's project, we're gonna start with a fresh project uh, with the starter content enabled. All right, go to your content drawer. We're gonna mess around in the third person to demonstrate how to do arrays. So we're gonna go to third person, blueprint, and we're gonna go ahead and use the default blueprint. Now, while we're here, we're gonna take this tab and just move it over to the side here. All right, we're gonna find a little bit of space here, but before we do anything else, we're gonna start out by creating the variables. So we're gonna need like four variables for this particular project. So first one we're gonna need is we're gonna call it mat color array. And we're gonna change this material to the material. Let's see material. There we go. And we want to use an object reference. And compile and save. Now if you notice here it shows one it shows one item here. But we want to make an array. Now array is basically going to give us multiple items. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go up here to the top and you can do this with any variable and we're going to select the array tab. Now, we're going to hit compile and save. Next, we're going to choose five colors that uh, we're going to use to uh, go through this array. And with these colors, we're going to basically two, three, four, just add the plus button here. What we're going to do is we're going to change the color of our, our default pawn here in the third person. So to start out with, we're going to select some colors. So let's start with gold. Select gold for that one. Then next we're gonna do a, let's try a uh, rock, rock material. So uh, this should be good. Next, we're gonna do a wood material. I kinda like this uh, wood oak here, that's pretty good. And then for our final two, we're gonna add a black and a white color material. So let's try, uh, Black, type in the word black. We'll go with this glossy clear one here. Now for the final one, we're gonna use a base material, which will simulate the white. So uh, we can go with this, um, let's see, uh, we can go with this first one here, I guess. Let's see, or the second one here. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so we've got our colors. We're gonna compile and save. Now that particular Variable's been created. We're going to make another one. Now this one's going to be called mat color item because we're going to make this a single item because we're going to change it. So we can go ahead and hit compile and save. But for this, we want to use it and make it the single. So we're going to, sorry, we're going to click here and use the single. And we're going to compile and save. And we're going to leave this blank because we're going to fill it in with our array elements. Next, we're going to need to index these. So we're going to need two more things. So we're going to need uh, something called a current index. We're going to name it current index. Hit enter. And for indexes, you're going to do it in an integer form. Compile and save. We're going to hit the plus sign again. And then we're going to save the new index which be the new color that we'll, we'll salvage. So, so new index here. And then we're gonna do a compile and a save. Now, just to rewind back to the array element, if you notice, these are the indexes. So we got zero through four, and uh, that's how we're going to select it. We're gonna select it by the index and use the element to, to project what we're gonna use out of that array. Okay. So now that we've got this open space here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the logic. So first we're gonna need something to fire off our event to change colors. So we're gonna go with uh, the one key. And then from here, we're gonna hold down the B button and left click and that'll give us a branch and we're gonna hook up to the branch. 
Now, we're also going to need a Boolean. We're going to type in the equal sign twice and get the equal Boolean in the operator. We're going to hook that up to there. Now, what we want is we want the current index. Oh, wait, sorry. We're going to take the current index. We're going to drag it, touch it here. And we're going to also get the new index right here. So if the current index and new index are the same, then we're going to change the logic. And what we're going to do is we're going to use something called uh, an increment node. So the easiest way to get that is to hit the plus sign twice. We can do the increment integer. We can connect it up. And what we want to do is we're going to add the current index to that. So, because we want to add to the current index. So we're going to, now the, the, the increment here, this actually just adds one to the index. So if the, if the number is zero, it goes one. If it's two, it goes three and, and et cetera. Now next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to hold down the alt key and we're going to do a left uh, mouse button and we're going to drag the current index over here and release it. And that'll give us the set for that. And we're going to go ahead and hook that up. And we want this increment to change every time with the one button to change this value. Whenever the current index changes, we're going to want to also hold down the alt key, get the new index and set it as well. And once we set that, we're going to also do that here. So it's almost doing like a follow leader. So when this one changes, then later this one will change and that'll give us the value and it'll, and it'll repeat. So every time we hit the one button, it's going to do like this follow leader and it's going to change the index for each of these. Now, next we're going to want to, okay, so we, yeah, compile and save. You want to do that many times whenever you're doing a uh, code. Okay. So, Next, we're going to use something called a clamp. We're going to clamp the integer. And the reason for this is we want to only work within the values of our array. Now, our array only has five elements. So zero counts as one, and then the final element is four. Compile and save. Next, we want to go ahead and we want to pull our material color array onto the map here. So just go ahead and we can do a, a get. And then what we want to get from here is we want to get a copy. So we're going to go ahead and get a copy. Okay. And the copy we want to get is from one of our indexes. So we're going to hook it up from here. So we're going to get the indexes from this array. And then next, what we're going to want to also do is we're going to want to set this item. So we're going to go ahead and grab a uh, alt and we're going to go to our material color item, drag that on the raft and we're going to hook that up and that'll give us our material. And we need to hook up the execution as well in order for it to activate. Keep the code nice and neat. I guess we can do it like this. Compile and save. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to drag off of here and we're going to do a set array element. This will allow us to actually to pick which array we want to see and make active or visible at the time. And then we, we definitely want to use the index from the clamp. And then we also want to make sure we use the material color item we're going to use. We're going to set that as well. Now we're going to need to grab our, our characters mesh and drag it onto the graph. And what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to do a set material node and we can go ahead and select that and we're going to duplicate that so we can do a control D and we want to make sure that we target the mesh in both cases and we're going to basically hook these two up now I'm going to zoom out a little bit 
because it's getting a little bit too close to our other logic, so we're just going to scoot it over a bit. There we go. Scrolling back in. And we can, there we go, yeah. Okay, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and hook that up. Keep the code a little bit neat. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to set the materials, okay? So we're going to set the material color item, the single item. Drag down to the graph. We're going to get it. And we're going to connect both of these up to this because we're going to have them do the exact same thing. So right here, okay, so I'm going to explain this little thing with the elements. So inside the material element, we're going to go to the mesh. Oh, while we're here, compile and save. And I want you guys to see, like, so right here, these are the two colors that make up our character. So we got element zero and element one. So we got zero, and then we're going to go ahead and select this and make that a one. Compile and save. And that will give us the materials, but we're going to use from our array. So we're, gonna, we're not even going to use these materials, okay? Scroll back out. Now, the logic is complete, but since we're here, let's go ahead. We're going to move this over just a little bit. And we're going to copy this code ex exactly. So let's just go ahead and left click and highlight all this. And then with your arrow down here, with your cursor down here, do a control D. And that will allow you to duplicate the code exactly. Next, we're going to add another key. So we're going to do a two key this time to activate the code down here. So this code down here, we're going to use this one. Sorry about that. Let me scroll in. We're going to use this one here. Compile and save. We're going to use this one to cycle through the code the other way, cycle through the array. So instead of a, an increment node, we're going to use something called a, a, a decrement node. So we're going to right click here. And you can get this one easily too, just by hitting uh, the minus sign twice. And then get the de-increment. And the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to just hook this up in the place of the increment node. If you hold down control and hover over the this wire here, you can just go ahead and drag and drop and release and you'll have that. Same thing with this. That. Select this and just delete it. And then we can just move this down in its place. Compile and save. Okay, that should complete our code. So now that we're learning how to cycle through arrays, so let's go ahead and test it out. We hit the play button. And to start out with, so we can hit the one key and it's going to give us our rock and then the wood, then the black, and then the white. And then we can hit the two key and it's going to have us go back the other way. Well, that concludes it for today's video. I hope this was very helpful. I hope you understand arrays, setting the array element, and even the, you know, the uh, copy. So please like and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.